This, ladies and gentlemen, is a situation that may cause some to give up in life. That may cause some to question what they could do if they no longer had legs. Now let me introduce you to an inspiration, a man named Reggie Showers, who not only overcame his disability, but Reggie, you went out and won the biggest motorcycle drag race in the world, the U.S. Nationals. How did you do this? How did I do it? It was a lot of faith, uh, first and foremost, but it was a lot of hard work uh, with me and my team, uh, the acronym team, Together Each Achieves More. I mean, we were on a mission. We didn't have the fastest motorcycle at the event uh, that year, but we were the smartest racers, and, and we made sure that we cut good lights and we turned wind lights on. Um, so it was a pretty amazing weekend. It was a long weekend, to say the least. I was pretty deflated after uh, winning that as well as the, uh, the K&N uh, shootout that we won. How about aside from winning the biggest motorcycle drag race of the year, just the fact that a, a double amputee can get on a motorcycle and go nearly 200 miles an hour, how much of an inspiration do you think that is to others that, that think they might not have the willpower to get to the gym or, or maybe climb a, climb a flight of stairs? It's part of the reason why I do what I do, you know, with racing motorcycles, with uh, flying airplanes, with snowboarding, with everything that I do. It's um, I want to show people that, you know, the human beings are capable of doing some incredible things. When we're pushed, that's when we're at our best, when the creative juices come out. And everything that I do is hard. It takes a little more effort. I have to focus on it. But a, a positive byproduct of that hard work is strength. It's um, it's skill. And I turn that strength and skill into uh, positives. And I use it on the racetrack. I use it on my snowboard. I use it in the classroom, speaking. And it gives people uh, a hope. You know, they look at me and they say, you know what? What is my problem? I shouldn't have anything to complain about. How many people along the way told you that maybe it wasn't safe for a double amputee to be out there on one of the world's quickest motorcycles? Uh, how many people? Really nobody, because I didn't, in, initially when I first started racing, I didn't tell anybody about my quote-unquote disability. Uh, I went out and proved myself first and just didn't tell the, the sanctioning bodies that I was an amputee. I figured, you know what, if I can go out here and win some races, prove that I'm capable of doing, you know, this, this the rate riding these motorcycles at 190 some odd mile an hour and a quarter mile with prosthetic legs, if I can prove that I can do that, then there shouldn't be any problem with them including me in the class. Well, that's awesome, Reggie. We're going to hear much, much more from you coming up, but let me just say on behalf of, of everybody, not just motorcycle drag racing fans, you're a total inspiration. <laughs> Thanks, I know brother. days when I need motivation and, and I think about what I can and can't do, I say, man, Reggie is a double amputee, one of the biggest drag races of the year. He could probably kick my butt in just about <laughs> anything. You're you know, a yeah. smart man. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Very humble man. Bet on Reggie. <laughs> but be on behalf of everybody for, for the inspiration and everything you do, thank you so much. Thank you, brother. We'll have more coming up with Reggie.